The camera in Avatar Creator is both an object you can manipulate and animate. Let's take a look. First, select the camera. Once selected, you'll see the basic controls to move it around. The Rotate tool also allows you to rotate the camera. On the right panel, if you open the camera dropdown, you'll see additional controls for the camera. In here you can manually input the XYZ coordinates and rotation. Additionally, you can preview the final output of the camera by clicking the Camera View button. With the camera selected, you can add a keyframe by clicking this button. Move the playhead to a new position. Let's move the camera now. Once more, let's add a keyframe. Now when we scrub the playhead, you can see the camera animate. Exclusively in Motion, you can actually leverage the 3D camera in your motion composition along with Avatar Creator. Before we return to Motion, let's delete our camera animation as it will cause a conflict with the next few steps. In Motion, add a camera to the project. When asked, convert the Avatar Creator group to a 3D group. This next step isn't strictly necessary, but it can resolve some weird clipping while rendering. Select your Avatar Creator layer, go to the Properties Inspector Transform section, and make sure the position of the layer is located ever so slightly above the origin, with X and Z at 0, and a Y position of 0.01, .01, and then rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis so it is facing upward. Finally, back in the Generator tab, Click the check mark for Use Motion Camera to enable camera data communication to Avatar Creator. Then open the Advanced group and click Clear Frame Cache. Your canvas will update to demonstrate the default camera position relative to your avatar. Now you can simply manipulate your camera within Motion, and Avatar Creator will use Motion's camera data. Note that when using Motion's camera, it overrides any camera settings you have in Avatar Creator, unless you have an animation in Avatar Creator in which case it will cause a conflict.